afternoon or I've got to get a new catchphrase. That's boring. So it's Sunday afternoon. I've had my roast, I've had my dinner, uh, my dessert, I've done the house, I've been out, and now it's time to relax and have a snooze. A little bit hungover from last night, but it was worth it because that was one hell of a good crack. Looking rough though, I've got spots, probably chocolate on my lip. I keep getting bit, I got bit by midges in the garden yesterday, like totally bit all over. That's why I was wearing a snapback in some of my videos. So yeah, I'm just doing a quick blog. One of my thoughts that I've been pondering on. Uh, so barber chop, barber shop chat again. So being in a male environment, because I'm a bit of a tomboy and I like the banter, I think guys probably talk about stuff that they might not in front of some girls. I think anyway. So I was listening to a few customers' conversation the other day. Or was it Saturday? No, Friday. I can't remember. And uh, they was talking about some story about one of their mates. So I won't go into that. And then they said, I heard them say, um, yeah, well, she's not going to put out. You're going to go elsewhere, aren't you? And I was like, what? If she's not going to put out? And they're like, well, yeah, you know, sex is the most important part of a relationship. Agreed, sex is one of, one of the most important things in a, re in a relationship. But if someone doesn't put out for like two months, seriously, you're going to go elsewhere? That's quite saddening, really. Like, I'm a single girl. Hearing stuff like that from guys does not make me want to run into a relationship. I'm, I like being single anyway. I've probably gone too far the other way. I'm too independent. Like my own space, do my own thing. I've got an answer to anyone. You know, if I meet someone bonus, if I don't, I'm still happy in my life. But, yeah, hearing that, whether I'm actually single or not, it's, it's quite upsetting. I've got an older brother. He's seven years older than me. And he once said to me when I was, like, 16, and it all sticks in my head. No matter who the guy is, if it's put on a plate, they're going to cheat. Now, I am, I am a bit bitter, anyway. <laughs> I'm a bit of a grump and a bit cynical, but I'd still like to think if you are madly, truly, deeply in love with someone and it's the right person for you, you'd never cheat. Like, obviously, if someone's not ever going to have sex with you, then there's obviously issues that need to be addressed and you talk through it. You don't go elsewhere and then make the bloody situation worse. <coughs> and apart from medical reasons... Put that aside. Normally with women, women are emotion like it, it, most women, sex is an emotional thing as well. So you have to like the person, you have to be happy. You know, if you've been going through a bad patch with someone, like in my experience, when I've gone through bad patches with someone in relationships, that's the last thing I want to do is go near them. Can't stand them. Let them have them touch me. Um, maybe that's just me. But yeah, it's quite sad. I, I, I really hope that's not true. Some guys, yeah. Some women, yeah. I don't know many men that wouldn't pout, but... Yeah, it's quite sad, really, and I really hope that that is not true. Because if you, you know, if you love someone, why would you fuck that up? I don't know. I just don't get it. You know, there's enough shit that goes on in this world. If you find someone that, you know, is your soulmate, don't wreck it. Talk things through. Things are to be worked at. Not take the easy option out. Anyway, that's that's me today. I'm going to go and have a nap now, going... Actually, I'm going to have a shower, sort my face out, and then go and have a nap. Thanks for watching. Keep watching my videos, and I'll speak soon. Peace out.